Hi, my name is Bart Kamski and this is Unreal Engine 4 minutes tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, if you open your first person example map, you will have these cubes here. The first thing we're going to do is gonna we're gonna disable this terrible sounds of shooting. So let's open first person character and here at the spawn projectile at the very end there's play sound allocation. With pressing Alt let's just disable this line and we don't have this sound anymore. Okay, now we need sounds for uh, cubes. Unfortunately these sounds are here. You can download these sounds in the link below. And I got 25 of those sounds and they are grouped in five different groups. So group first is the most uh, loud sound with most power. Second group is uh, a little bit uh, um, softer. And next group, until the last group, which is really, really soft and quiet. Okay, let's create sound cue. Uh, I create sound cue based of the sound, so I already have the name. Oh, but I already have this cue. Okay, let's add one. Let's open this cue. We can delete this. And let's select all of our sounds and just drag and drop it to the sound. Now we need to group them. So let's select all the sound with one from the first group and type right, uh, type random. And we have our random note connect to it. We have to do this to every group. And the last one, here we go. I'm double check if everything's okay. Yes, it is. Okay, now we need to connect those nodes, but we need to use a node switch so we can switch between these groups depending on the power of the cube hit. So let's select this and let's select also this and press right mouse button and use node switch. Um, I select this node as well because it will connect to the first parameter and this parameter is unset so we can disable it and now we have every group connected to every input uh, in the switch node. So now let's select switch node and name the parameter power. Okay, and we from Blueprint will send the integer value, so 0, 1, 2 or 3 to this node in sound queue, and it will play the proper sound then. So let's connect it to the output. Let's set up the easiest way, uh, uh, maybe just only um, uh, spatialization and attenuation, the default one and we can go to our blueprint. So uh, we need to select one of those cubes and we need to add blueprint and we need to select the folder. Cube for blueprint content folder default is fine with me. And now we have this cube blueprint here. And let's go to even grab, select the static mesh component and on component hit, on event select on component hit. And we need to double check if this physics is uh, simulated, obviously, but we need to select simulation generates hit events here on the right side. Let's select that. And let's just check if everything's fine by print string here. And yeah, it prints even... Oh yeah, but we have... Uh, only this cube has our blueprint. So these cubes are just static meshes. So let's select this one and just copy it. Maybe like this. I'm pressing Alt 
and dragging it. That's how I'm copying. And if I want to stock it on top of each other, I press end. So it goes down to the nearest uh, floor. And now all of our cubes give us event when they are being hit. Uh, unfortunately, when we press play, the physics uh, give us hit at the beginning, but we we have we will use uh, some kind of gate to to prevent that from happening from playing the sound. Okay, so uh, here let's just um, spawn sound here. So we're gonna spawn sound at location. Okay, and let's select our, that was this, yep, and here, and as a location, we need to drag from hit and the break hit result and get hit location, which is this. Okay, um, and we need to get another parameter. We need to get the velocity of our actor. So we type get velocity in our um, cube, obviously. And this is velocity in vector. So it gives us uh, all three dimension of velocity. But we need only combine uh, velocity as a float. So we need to check get the length of this vector. So we need vector length, and now we can map it. So from what I know, uh, I know the range um, more or less is between 500, which is the, the biggest velocity with the biggest hit, and let's say the slowest hit is about uh, 30 maybe, and here we need to map it to map this value so it gives us range between 0 and 3. So we will trigger different groups of sounds depending on the velocity of the cube. So when the velocity is biggest, we need to play this group, which is the loudest one. So it has 0, it has to have 0 uh, parameter. So 500 is 0, and the 30, which is the uh, quietest one with lowest velocity, let's set it up to 3. And from here, from spawn sound allocation, I use spawn, not play sound allocation, because I need this return value. And from here, let's set parameter, and it's going to be integer parameter. And this integer parameter will drive this node. So when it has power here, we need to also type power here. And let's connect this float to int. It will truncate. Uh, so it, it will change, for example, 1.2 to 1. And let's check out how does, how does it work. It's a bit chaotic because uh, when the cube is moving and is and it is moving along another cube or another obstacle, it gives us hits on every tick. So the sound is playing on every tick, and we obviously don't want that. So we need to create some kind of gate for that. So uh, let's drag from on component hit and let's just use do once so it will hit only once and after do once the gate will close but we need to open it after some time so from the second output from sequence let's use delay and plug it here and the duration of the delay will also be random because not completely random obviously random in range because uh, if, it's if it's going to be a steady value, we can still hear the rhythm, you know, the pattern. But if we do it random, and from my experience, the random is like between 0.1, which is in seconds, to 0.2, this is going to be fine.
Yep. You can uh, you can play with those values if you want to have a different range. Um, you can check maybe to debug it uh, and or check how which sounds are playing right now. We can check. Okay, the sound, yeah. The sound zero and one is playing really, really, only when it's really uh, loud. So maybe we can change it to 400. Yep. We can also add another thing, which is we can set the volume. So we can have uh, like a gate. So every time this value map range clumpet goes, let's say, uh, below 30 and goes, it is bet between 30 and zero. We set it up from volume from one to zero. So when the velocity is uh, lower than 30, also volume will decrease. So we will connect it here. Okay, you can play with those value values and set it up as you wish. That's all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Cheers.